see you. London is with us, and cleansed of the Order. Good. Hytham will be pleased. I want to see the Alliance map. So Chailbert has traveled to Shropshire. He has, into a difficult situation. The Shire has been mired in a long war with Rodri, King of the Britons. Sheolbert hopes to negotiate a peace with the Britons of the West. A difficult task for one so green. I hope your tutelage has prepared him well. Indeed. But I think it best if you supervise these talks. If Sheolbert can make this work, we will gain a valuable alliance. I'll make my way to Shropshire. I am relieved. He and Ivar should be in Quatford just now. You will find it along the Effen Hafun River. If Ivar is with him, I'll certainly be needed. I should talk to Hytham. The Order has been purged from London. For now, they hold no power there. That is good news. And I would celebrate, but for the fact that Jorvik now suffers from the same infestation. Jorvik is a city under Norse control. I should have less problem finding allies here. That is a hopeful way of seeing it. Speak to Ranvi when you wish to travel there. Do you need something? I have to go. Then go in peace. Do you see? We've had nothing for days. Think you can guzzle the grot? Is that a bottomless stomach, I see? You win if you can down it faster than me. <laughs> Smell that fear. Palpable. Come raise a cup and lose some... <laughs> Not half bad, boy, but be fierce, dirty. Strike at my boss. Ivar, are you training the boy or tormenting him? One will lead to the other in time. Eivor, well met. You received my message, and just in time. Our negotiations with the Britons have not yet begun. I'll be at your side when they do. Is there anything I should know first? The venerable King Rodri is here. I am to deal with him directly. Rodri is desperate for peace. Ever since we captured his sniveling brother, Goriad. Sounds like a man coughing up snot. Goriad up Merve. Rodri waits at the church nearby. Who speaks for Shirapishire in these talks? The last elderman was killed in battle. Bishop Dayalov is standing in. Until we get this wet whelp installed. That is his father's wish. I find the idea of leading a Shire on my own quite... quite terrifying. It's a grave thing to be Elderman in a time of war, Chelbert. He will piss his pants first thing, that's for certain. As future Elderman, you should speak in the talks as well, but with humility. Rodri is a king and will expect to be treated as one. Rodri will want us to get down on our knees and sniff the rosy wind blowing from his ass. I know the man. You met him? Met him, fought him. He gave me this nick here. Maybe I can give him one back. Remind him some call me King Killer. It may be you should stay behind, Ivar. 
That's not a recipe for a good poly. I'd like you both to be there. To guide me, to judge my fitness. Give us your word, then. Your blade stays in its sheath. Eifor, don't make me laugh. We both know what my word is worth. But sure, I will let you do the talking. Probably. Excellent. Now, to the church, I think. Our guests await. It's not far, just across the village. We've been at war with the Britons for coming on two years. The Britons had the best of it. Tell me and my berserkers plowed through their ranks and chased Rodri's brother into a ditch. That's why Rodri's talking peace now. It's thanks to Eva. I am going to enjoy seeing him squeal, the old oak. Not nearly as much as taking him down, though. That would seal my legacy. Your legacy? As king killer. They do not all get away like Borgred did, Wolfkist. Keep the peace, Ivar. What has become of your preening brother? Ah, my brother. We parted. This road is unsure. You are better off leaving that sauntering pole in your wake. Our Bishop Dalev and King Rodri are ensconced in the church ahead. These houses of Christ, they're all so hard and cold. Yet within his warmth, the Christian God unites King Rodri, Bishop Dalev, and myself. On his ground, peace will be made. Britain cowards, stolen! Captain O'Neill, explain to the good bishop our position. Yes, my sovereign. Bishop Dearlove. We are deaf to offers of peace until Guriad is returned to us. The king's brother. The is... king's brother is a moldering sack of cow dung. You. I know your face, your stench. Ivar. The one they call Boneless. Did I not gift you that scar myself? Ah, you did. And I mean to gift you a gas, you reeking piss pot in your fat fucking skull. Hold! Both of you. My lord, this is Cheolbeath, the future elderman of this shire and the son of King Cheowulf of Mercia. This green stripling? Elderman? You can piss without help, boy. Now, now, calm everyone. Good faith is all I ask. You know my demands. Until my brother Gwyriad walks free, peace between us is impossible. He is lucky he can walk at all. Fell on his own blade, fleeing from us. I will soon help you fall on yours. Husband, keep your head. It is in our interest to find a way to peace, all of us. First, my brother. First, your head on a pike. Then the runt goes free. Husband, no! Enough! This is a house of God. Let us take some few minutes to gather ourselves, shall we? Eivor, to me. I do not know you well, but Jailbert believes you a steady head. We need such a one. It may be too late. I see the crows of war gathering. I have a hefty sum of silver. Speak to the people here. If the silver will help one bring us toward peace, offer it to them. These talks are stalled. I fear the upshot. Do not fret. You will be Elderman yet. You are with Rodri, yes? One of his advisors. I am that. Anir Abkadvarch by name. Address me proper. Tell me, soldier. Do you hold sway with your king? He consults me for his every decision. If I push for war, he will agree. If I argue for peace, he will follow. Peace is our desired end. Is there a chance that some silver might lead you to counsel your king in the same direction? A sack of silver? For me? Yes, I might amend my advice to Rodri for a tidy sum of shining metal. Yes.
You are a wise warrior. Perhaps the silver will become available. <laughs> and you, go and take a shit and let me know how it turns out. Talk, talk, talk. All we do is talk. Ivar! Lock the doors, murder that sweating pig, and have done with it. If I could find you silver, if I quell your bitterness while we seek peace. Peace? Is that what you think is going to happen here? I told you, I know this bastard. Will silver quiet you? It may, it may not. I would have to see the silver in my hands to know for sure. If there is any silver to be had, I'll think about it. You do that. Now you dangle silver before me. Are you... Uh, uh... You are Guriad, are you not? Brother to King Rodri. So I am. And a bruised pawn in your bloody game. How do you stand with your brother? My brother loves me well. Yet he can be slow and stubborn. Would I, King, I'd have played all this quite differently. What if you had the chance? At the crown. I would leap at the chance to rule. But a man needs wealth to bring down a king. Nobles must be bored, you understand. I make no promises, but I may be able to find you the silver you need. Under what terms? Knock Rodri from his throne. Withdraw all Britain's soldiers from Shiropshire, and never again threaten this border. If you speak true, I would make that bargain gladly. I will see about the silver. Oh, you dangle silver before me. Are you so frightened of the Britons that you take birds? Oh. Eivor, my friend. I asked around as you suggested. Have you come to a decision? To whom have you given this silver? I have yet to make my decision. Please, don't tarry. King Rodri. What is it, Dane? I wish to help you to peace. I will not talk of peace until my brother Gwiliad is returned to me. If you first agree to peace, he will be returned. Would a sum of silver help overleap this difficulty? I cannot be purchased with looted silver, Dane. Stand away. Ah, enough of this nonsense! <laughs> Lady, let us get past the anger and find our way to an agreement. What is your husband's greatest concern? The royal treasury has been depleted by the war. This brings immense strain to Rodri and his every decision. If I could provide a boon of silver, would that guide your husband away from war? A replenished treasury would certainly help my husband come to peace. If such a boon comes, I'll consider your words. Eivor, my friend. I spoke with more people. Have you made a decision at last? Ivar is increasingly agitated. Your silver's in the hands of one who wants it most. Now pray to your god it does some good. Rodri, I see you mocking me! I challenge you! Single Eivor, combat no. now! Boneless Ivar, spineless, toothless, gutless. You cannot kill me! A dragon will be my death, as my seers have foretold. And your brother? Does your destiny guard him? Guriad! <laughs> by God Almighty, I'll... Get him to safety! Go! Quickly! Kill the boneless one! Paint this chapel with his blood! This is oh, easy! <laughs> <laughs> Evil! What have you done? 
Vikinger diplomacy! Show the fuckers who the real warriors are. Ah. Eva, you have scuppered the peace. Do not be fooled by peace, boy. It is just an empty voice between axe blows. Dear Lord, this is a massacre. We have no choice now but to fight our way out of this. Ah, a good test for you, boy. Lord, forgive us. Stay close, Jailbert. You watch my back and I will pull the knives from yours. Dear Lord. Stay here, where it's safest, Bishop. Help me with this fucking door!
know that the battle is done. Rotary's brother, you beast! Our one chance at peace is lost. Peace with Rodri is as likely as you dying a virgin, Bishop. It won't happen. He is too canny, too vile. You nearly got Chaobert killed, you boneless flap of leather. Ah. The diplomat speaks what she really feels. Fail us again, son of Ragnar, and I'll send you back to Repton without your limbs. What's done is done. We must plan our next moves before the Britons regroup. They will retreat to their great castle for certain. It's well nigh impregnable. Then we starve them out, attack their supplies, watch them beg for death. Dear God. More death, more war, endless refugees. This is our only way forward, dear love. You know the territory best. How can we hurt them? Well, for food and supplies, they stockpile cargo at Wenlakan outpost, down south of Quatford. Rodri has another secret supply line. Ask among the refugees near the river, those who have fled from occupied villages. Rodri's Britons will strike back long before we can. Indeed. They will send Anir and his soldiers. They train in Wesbury, west of the ruined tower. You do not need me to hold your hand, Eivor. I will head to Wesbury, scout around. I know your method of scouting. It always leads to swordplay. I am as regular as Tidewater. I shall go with you, if only to get an honest accounting of our situation. I'll meet you both at Wesbury then, once I've done some damage. Until then. One last thing. We'll need a field before our battle's done. Try to free any captives you find. They'll swell our ranks. Friend or foe? Friends. Peace. I was told you might know where the Britons bring in their supplies. Are we your friends, Dane? I would have it so. After years of blood and gore, looting and burning, forgive us if we don't trust a Dane. Yes, I imagine you've known sword, fire and death. But you have lost those close to you. All of us have. I have known that pain. It brought me to England to start anew. But Rodri and his Britons stand in my way, as they stand in yours. I understand you well. Perhaps I spoke in haste. The Britons move their goods through dust and quarry. See that tower to the south? That's the Hillgate remnants. Further on, you'll find the stone quarry. Thank you. Hold a moment. If you need extra help... I may. Good Mercian men are working in that quarry. They all fought for Thane Merton. If you find yourself in a pitched fight, call out his name in praise. The workers will rally to you. God bless Thane Merton. Understood. I should be in Lokan outpost. If I take the cargo here, the Britons will be weakened and want peace. Mm-hmm. 
Cast about this land, my friend. Deolav's feared. More valuable than cargo. I give you freedom. Now give the Shire your pike. I will. That's done. Now to track down their supply line. We'll drag Rodri back to the peace table soon enough. Stone quarry, filled with Britain's supply carts. Once I burn those, it will push Rodri to peace. Need to cloak myself here. Shire needs you.
plenty of the avon. Olaf asked me to free the prisoners to strengthen our fear. Shirovshire needs you. These men will fight for us.
Ori and Wenlocan both done. That should shake Rodri to his senses. Now to Wesbury, before Eva causes more problems. Smell that, Jailbert. There's Ivar. Jailbert, too. I think so. A faint, grassy odor? No, no. The end! Ivar, Chaelbeth. Hey, Eivor. I was telling the Aetherlink here that Thor is with us this day. Our victory is assured. So, what is your plan? That bastard Anir commands this hamlet. So let us show these folks what happens when a village bows to the Britons. Smash it to kindling, burn it to ashes, and cut Anir's tender throat. Right, my boy? I hope to fight well, not cruelly. The cutting of throats I leave to you. If we prevail here, Chaelbeth becomes Elderman. First an Aetherling, soon an Elderman, one day the king. Oh, you are jumping rank, boy. I hope to begin my tenure in peace, Ivar. Let us finish this here, once and for all. Even talks like an Elderman now. <laughs> oh, my blood runs hot. Let us rush in now and leave a trail of bloody kindling. A stealthy approach might earn us more time. Bah! I prefer sound and fury, but do as you must. I want to go in quietly. No point in bringing every armed Briton down on our heads. Am I to stand here drooling like a village idiot waiting for your success? Chaelbeth, listen to this old man's stories and wipe his drool for him. I am not a patient man, Eivor. Put these dogs down quietly, or I may just join you the way I did in Letterchester. We will stay behind and draw runes in the dirt. But do not take long. Let's go hooded My here. blood is up. Are you not done? Have you stopped to nap? Enough! I will have blood! Ivar! Gods, Ivar. You're a rabbit hound. Should rid this place of soldiers. Less support for Rodri. You think those Danes will ever stop coming? You think killing Robert's brother should have been enough? Ah!
Hunter C. Trailbird fight? He is all balls now! I give thanks for victory and ask penance for taking lives. Ah, oh, Trailbird, your god bores me to death. Have a laugh! We won! And I took no pleasure in it, Ivar. Eivor and I were made for this, my boy. The song of swords, the blood mist, the bone crunch and baring of teeth. Is this enough blood paid, Ivar? We have spilled enough to slake the thirst of Fenrir. Why stop there? Jailbert, I would know your mind on all this. Are you satisfied with our victory? I... I believe I am. I'll need word from Rodri as soon as possible. What does he intend? He will see the flames. He will know Westbury has been destroyed. The bleeding pus pit claims only a dragon can defeat him. We will soon put that to the test. It is peace we want, Ivar, not revenge. If you cannot accept that, return to Repton now. You do not know Rodri as I do, Eivor. You do not know what a slippery, lying shit he can be. Enough talk of killing. I need a moment of calm. You need me. No, Ivar. True calm. A walk in the woods to clear the air. Or fishing. Would you go fishing with me? Fishing, huh? Looking for a warm puddle to dangle your worm in? I saw a small pond nearby. Will you come? We can all take a moment to allow our blood to cool. Dale have relishes nettle soup cooked with eels fresh from the water. I will not fish. You go ahead. The water is boiling with them. Sure. Done, An 
Ew. That took longer than clearing this village. We caught some eel for a feast. The bishop should be pleased. The simple fellow comes now. Ah, a strange way to celebrate victory. But then again, our Christ was a fisher of souls, was he not? Bishop, greetings. We've the makings for a delicious soup. I'm grateful, Chaelbert, but my heart is heavy. So many homes burnt. We'll be years rebuilding. You should have seen Chaelbert fight. He will be an elderman with sack and guts, fearsome and raw. I should rather be fair and just, but I take the compliment. I have sent word to the Britons. I pray King Rodri will again be open to peace, in spite of his brother's murder. It worked in our favor. Look where we landed. Britons begging for mercy like whiny pups. The fighting is done, but the talking has not yet begun. We'll need to be careful about who attends our negotiations. Our next steps are critical, my lords. And after what happened in Quatford, it is clear to me that Eva should lay low. Lay low? After all I have done here, you tell me to dunk my head? The good bishop is right, Ivar. You have a warrior's heart, not a peacemaker's. Fuck you, wolf kissed. I know Rodri, and I know the kind of tricks he will pull. That is me warning you. If you hear me farting, that is my welcome to the bastard. You bruised his pride, Eivor. If you have some balm for it, by all means, share it. His pride makes him difficult, and his anger makes him hasty. But he is not without honest feeling. I will hunt him a great boar, I think. And together we'll roast it over a fire and tell tales of war. That should please him. Bishop, we must prepare for Rodri's arrival. Rally our men and set up a camp, just here. Peace or war will be decided, but not yet, not now. We must wait. I loathe waiting. It is all in God's hands. We can but pray and give thanks for this moment of rest. The Britons have come! The moment has ended. This way, by the Great Oak! Where is Chaelbert? He ought to be present for these talks as our future elderman. He went hunting. A wild boar, he said. That was quite some time ago, no? We cannot wait. We should settle the peace now. Lady Angharad, greetings. We come to speak of peace. We are glad and to hear it. But where is your great king? He stays at the castle at my behest. I feared his presence would inflame the cutthroat Ivar. We've confined our cutthroat to his tent. Both of us fretting over our war-hungry companions. It seems we are of the same mind. 
A surplus of caution never did any harm. I count this as a blessing. Perhaps then at long last we can end this war. Our peoples have suffered enough. And your proposal? We shall withdraw all our soldiers to the time-honored border of our lands. We ask only that you give us some days to collect our furnishings and leave Kausto Castle. In return, you pledge to end all hostilities as of this moment. These terms are generous. We have a truce. Truly. Praise be, this is well and quickly done. God go with you and your king, Lady Angharad. I salute you all. You waged a good war. Let us now wage a lasting peace. I stand bewildered, Eivor. In the blink of an eye, years of blood and sweat are put to an end. You have walked a difficult road, Bishop. Chailbout must learn the good news. Will you tell him when you see him? I'll find him now. Has Chilbert gone to? Someone here must know. Have you seen Chilbert? I don't keep track of the comings and goings of the Ardaling. Ask another. I'm looking for Chilbert. Have you seen him? Last I saw, he was sharpening arrowheads. Ivar, it's done. Peace, eh? And now everyone is shitting themselves with happiness. If not happiness, then relief. Have you seen Chailbert? I want to pass on the good news. He asked me to go hunting earlier, but I am in no such mood. Hey, Eivor. Have you seen Chailbert? My brother saw him last. Drunk as a mackerel, isn't he? Celebrating the peace. Got started early. Wake up! Huh? Where is Chailbert? Chail... Bert? Did none of you see Chailbert? Only him, Drenger. You will have to wait until he sleeps it off. Does he often get this soaked? By all the gods, he does. Twice a week. Once for three days, another for four. Then twice on Sundays. And when you need him to sober up, what do you do? Keep this to yourself, but once or twice when I needed a quick word, I dumped him in a lake. It's worth a try. Must be some way I can wake this drunk. and berries off. I'm looking for Chailbert. So you set me afire? Wrath of Surtur. If you must know, the little brat went off hunting boar some time ago. Yes, I know. But where was he hunting? He went south. That's all I know. Probably followed the stream here, south to the forest. That's enough to go on. Thank you. Show me.
Sunan, guide me. What happened here? This doesn't look good. Blood. Chailbeards. Or an animal he felt. Jailbed's bow. Dropped. and blood, not from a boar, a wolf dragging something through the dirt. Jailbear. Tears of Freya. Jailbears, you live. I... Uh... Stay quiet. You're badly hurt. A dragon on the hilt. Gods. The Briton Crest. Keep breathing, boy. You haven't got long. I will take you back to say your goodbyes. I can get you to the others. I'll go easy. Shh. Save your strength. Hush, Jailbeard. We'll soon be among friends. Faster this way. Just breathe, Chelbert. We'll soon be there.
Some help here! Ivar, dear love. By the hand of Thor. Eivor, what happened? No. No! You foolish boy, what did you do? I found him deep in a cave, beset by wolves. Ivar. Easy, boy. Easy. He... Ivar. Get me an axe right fucking now! Ivar. He's gone. An axe! His god will take him as he is. Axe or not. Go to your god, boy. And I will sing for you in Valhalla. This was no wolf. Tell me what happened. The Britons did this. I found this blade in his chest. A Briton's dagger. Rodri! But why? You murdered his brother. Did you think he would let that lie so easily? I told you he was a trickster. Peace was never his goal. He takes blood for blood. Bishop Dayolov, over here. The walls of his fortress will not protect him. I will sheath this dagger into his lungs. We must move fast then. Attack before Rodri can revel in his trick. No mercy this time, Wolf Kissed. You spared that wet turd, Leofrid. We will not spare Rodri. I swear. Lord above, what's happened? Chaelbert! Murdered. May the Lord who frees you from sin save you and raise you up. Send the boy's body to his father. He'll want a Christian burial. Lady Angharad said Rodri is holed up in Calstow Castle. That may have been a lie or a tiny slip. Either way, we should find out. There is a spot near the fortress to set up camp. We will scout it together. A good plan. We go now. Fine. And remember, leave Rodri to me. Is that... Stop and follow me. There's work to be done. I should have seen this coming. I should have known he would come for the weakest of us. You opened a bloody wound when you killed Rodre's brother. Anything worth doing must be paid for in blood. In Quadford, you told me Rodri gave you that scar on your face. Is it a story worth telling? It's not worth telling, it is worth remembering. Years ago, I was headed back from the Western Isle. Ah, they have got fighters there. I had taken a bit of a beating, put me in a surly mood. I wanted blood and silver, nothing more. So, me and my drangir sailing along the coast of Camry, see a nice spot for landing, covered in mist. We drag our ships ashore, and just then, a cry came from atop a hillock. The troll cursed Britons. The fog clears a bit. And there they are, all lined up. The biggest one calls out, I am Rodri, king of this land. That means shit to me. I scream back. I give my boys a nod. And we raise up our axes and charge before they take a breath. We have the numbers, but the Britons, Clever. It's marshland. The bog catches our boots, sucks us to a standstill. One by one, Brodry cuts us to bits. He gets to me, lays his blade at my cheek, and gives me this nick. Leave this land and give your people fair warning, he says. Tell them King Brodry gave you that cut. Hand shit, I say. Brodry laughs. Let's me go. 
quite a story, Ivar. Son of Ragnar, killer of kings, conqueror of England and the Western Isle. You have lived a saga worth ten. That I have. That sweat-sopped slug is just beyond those walls. May only be defeated by a dragon. My itching ass. He'll meet one all right. Send a message to your men. We can build a camp here and lay plans for a surprise attack. Ivar's men waste no time. They're eager to pay out our revenge. I've been waiting to get back at these Britons ever since you broke me from that cage, Dane. The time is nigh. There's my liberator. I'll do you proud, I will. Eivor, I'm ready to get back at them Britons. You'll not see me lagging behind doing nothing but looting corpses. Not this time. I am ready. What in the name of Loki have you done? Called in the dragon to help me slay Rodri. Now what say you, Wolfkist? Are you ready for war? Rally the men, Eivor. Let's have at it. It is a good day to die. The gate looks to be well defended. My men are loading a cart with cauldrons of oil. We will blast right through that fucking gate. Ragnarsson, how is it you come in force when our peace has been concluded? Do not mock us, whore son. You splattered blood on our peace with the butchery of young Chalbert. Speak what nonsense you please, Dane. If you mean war, our defenses are sure. Gaze upon my face, King of Grow Food, and meet the dragon that will devour you. I see a spent old man. Playing at serpents. Enough talking, Ivar. Bring the oil cart and set the fires. When I am done with Rotary, I will tear the fat from his shanks and use it to fry our bread. Get the cart, boys! We will like it now, you front of the gate! Get the wagon to the gate! Brakes! I will wash the castle walls with rolling slides! Brakes!
Shut down. Ivar the Boneless. <laughs> you make a pitiful dragon. <laughs> old oak he's not dead no i have something else planned spectacle remember
He's nothing now but a sad sack of flesh. Kill him, and be done with it. Oh no. This will be good. I have something specific in mind. A place and a method. Come. All right. Let's get this over with. Load this lump of lard onto your horse and we will go. Take care he stays alive. Abel, do not forget that lump. Where are we going? An overlook I found while scouting. A view, one fit for a dying king. There's no need for spectacle, Ivar. Let the man die. No, no, no. He must die with style. Dear King, stay with us. You must not miss what is coming. Hey! What shout uh, would you? I killed King Ella, King Osbart, King Edmund, and now King Broderick. What? Who else can claim such a string of victories? Just... It is not my place to interfere in this feud. Valhalla must look such a sight. Does he breathe still? Barely. Rodri, are you listening? For years I wore this scar with shame. Nicked by a Briton and left alive. I tried to cover it with a beard, a cloak. But as your fame grew, I began to beam with pride. A king gave me this mark. What say you to this, Rodri? Huh? Speak up, you old bag of sweat and grease. up there to the top and keep him breathing finish this quickly Ivar see here a hungry blade now comes the dragon to feed on his favorite meal the blood eagle Ivar, is this... The birth of a blood eagle is a sight to behold, my friend. First, I slice the length of your spine. Blood Eagle has no true meaning for Ivar. He's doing it simply to take pleasure in suffering. Now, I pull back the flesh. The method will always outlive the meaning. Few in time will care why this man died. But the how, that is a song for the ages. Now. 
the fog between good and evil grows thick over time. But glory never fades. There is nothing glorious here. Life is not pretty. It is a bloody fight. Out come the lungs! And we spread them like wings! All of mercy, I can see him now. I've seen enough. We are not finished, Eivor. This saga we have written together, it needs an ending. Here and now. It is ended, Eivor. I'm done with this place. A fight to the death. You and me. If I win, I am the greatest Vikinger who ever lived. If I lose, what a tale you have to tell. You are battle drunk, Ivar. Goodbye. Poor Chelbert. He barely said a word. When? I pushed that dragon dagger into his heart. No. Just a soft little squeal. And nothing. You sick fucking backrot! <laughs> the things a man must do. The trials one must face. The friends one must betray. To achieve one's destiny. And become king killer forevermore. Traitor! Jailbird was... Like a son to me! Yes! Yes! So fight me, Wolfkiss! To a glorious death! This is the life, Eivor! High, high above the world! Valhalla awaits! to die. Watch out! Valkyrie's approach. My axe, Eivor. Hand me my weapon. Eivor! Give it here! To Helheim with you.
Carry the body to Quartford. We will say our goodbyes there. And send a message to Abba. Tell him... ...his brother is dead. Eivor, hello. Another dark day clouds our victory. Bishop. Abba. Dead. At the hands of a Briton. I cannot imagine the shame my brother felt in his final hour. Were it not for this peace... I killed him. You? After peace was made, Ivar murdered Chelbert and pinned the crime on Rodri to get another swing at him. How do you come to know this? He told me himself. I am always one who desires the truth, Eivor. But this... This is a hard thing to hear. Did he die well? He died a fighter in all his glory. As he wanted then. With Ivar gone, peace and quiet are now possible. That is something. I will console myself for the thought that we will meet again in Valhalla. Axe in hand. For good or ill, he lived life by his own rules. What man can say better? He lived his life at cross purposes. I often found him strange and his actions puzzling. But not all men are meant to be understood. He needs a proper farewell. I will prepare a ship for his funeral pyre. Bishop, send word to Lady Angharat. Say that her husband died by treachery, and that Ivor has paid the price for it. As soon as I am able. Have you heard from King Cheowulf? I cannot imagine his grief. He is felled by it. Still, he makes plans for this shire. I am to be Elderman here. Therefore, Shiropshire declares herself your friend and ally, and will remain so for the length of my days. I am grateful, Bishop. God go with you, Eivor, wherever you may lead. battle song. The boneless one sails into a singing glory on a flaming water steed. Wind across the water. The battle maidens beat their wings to carry a king to Odin's hall of corpses. Ivar gone. Shropshire an ally. I should confer with Ranvi. Good day. We are allied with Shropshire, but at a grievous cost. Young Chailbird was killed. Yes, my scouts told me. Such a tragic death for so dubious a gain. I hope you paid his killers back in kind. Justice was done. Chilbert will be remembered. He was good company in the short time he was with us. He was. I want to see the Alliance map. It's 
Tell me more about Kent. Basim has written, claiming to have found the woman Fulke and asking for your aid. He has taken shelter at St. Hadrian's Priory. Any news of Sigurd? Nothing he mentioned. But if he has found the paladin Fulke, Sigurd cannot be far behind. I will go as soon as I can. Good. Be safe, Eivor. Dag, Basim has brought word of Sigurd's location. We are leaving at once to find him. Well done, Eivor. After so long, it finally occurs to you to search for our Jarl. I applaud your half-hearted effort, but I will not be joining you. Dag, this is no joke. On the ship, now. Someone needs to stay home and direct the affairs of the settlement. As you seem to shun this place as often as possible, it must fall to me. Sigurd's life is at stake. We need you there. No, I am needed here. Do you doubt me so completely that you will not raise an axe to save your Jarl? A fine way of putting it, Wolf Kissed. But go, find the Jarl, bring him back. Only do not get lost along the way, as you seem to more and more these days. This is not done, Dag. We will speak when I return. Augustine make a distinction between faith and understanding. That is my... What I mean to say is, faith is paramount. Yes, for without it, Christ's sacrifice means nothing. He died to save us, did he not? From the original sin of Adam and Eve? Yet evil persists. Yes, evil persists, because he gave us free will. Does a newborn babe, slain by a despot, have free will? Yes. No, I mean... That is too simplistic. Or the priest, whose heart is torn from his chest by the wolf. Judas, who was predestined to betray the Nazarene. Ah, some argue Judas was used. Do my ears deceive me, Brother Hawpert? You question the scriptures? Declare Judas an innocent? A preposterous blasphemy! No, no, uh, that is not what I said. <laughs> Brother Cedric, am I not the most pious of his servants? Out! Out! Making new friends? A person's tongue gives you a taste of their heart, Eivor. And such information is often useful. And how do these sallow Christians taste? It was only a figure of speech, Eivor. And I have tired of it already. Is this how it must be between us? Of course not. I'm grateful that you have come. So what of the joy kang of Fulke? In your message, you say you tracked her to Kent. She is here somewhere. And as of last month, Sigurd was with her. But there is no guarantee this will be the case tomorrow. So, what is your plan? We are deep in their god's heartland. A heathen and a heretic. To hunt Fulke, we'll need a Christian snare. Fulke is hardly a saint herself. These Christians abhor her strange ideas. True. But unlike us, she can carry herself as one of them. She won't hide from everyone, not with a prisoner in tow. So, where to begin? I've made a friend, Abbot Cunibert, full of pious fire, but with ambition that far outweighs his wit. And what does your friend Cunibert know? Come, I will introduce you, and we'll hear the full tale together. Found some peace in your time alone, Basim. I am always at peace and never alone. I move among the people of the world with great joy. I watch them, study them, learn from them at all times. 
This is our duty. The Hidden One's calling. You know, for the first time since we met, you sound more like your apprentice than yourself. <laughs> Surely Hytham sounds like me, if I have taught him well. Your creed and your tenets, you mean? That's right. And our sense of, how should I say, deep responsibility to the betterment of mankind. That's quite an ambition, but it doesn't explain what you see in Sigurd. My brother is not so generous. Ah, but your brother is someone special, important, and I want him to see that. I hope to show it to him. Is this not a blessed plot? God's own country. And this Eden should be given to his servants to tend. Abbot Cunibert, this is the Norse I spoke of. Ah, oh, yes. And quite a fearsome one at that. Basim says you know the paladin Fulke. Indeed. The Lady Fulke passed this way not more than a month ago. We talked, we drank. Very pleasant woman. And where is she? Eivor will be your axe, Abbot. Whether to fell a tree, or hew the limbs from an enemy. What have you promised him? Oh, just a trifle, Eivor. A little problem I believe you can help me with. Speak your terms plainly, Abbot. I'll decide if the bargain is worth my time. Ah! Your wolf shows its teeth, Basim. Let's cut to the point. What favor would you ask in exchange for Fulke? Some weeks ago, our elderman in Kent was called to God. A terrible loss. King Alfred has chosen his replacement, but has not yet announced the name. I must know it. Now. All of Kent will see soon enough which thane he has chosen. Why not wait? I want early access. To woo him before his exalted position is made public and every fool is at his door. Who else knows the chosen man? The king's emissary. Sent with a letter of congratulations to the new elderman. Intercept him and bring me the news. When I know the thane's name, we'll discuss how I might win his favor. If we do this, how will you find Fulke? I want some kind of assurance. Do you have ears in every church, abbey, and cathedral in Kent? Because I do. And I will find her. And we will do the deeds to staining for a Christian soul. This emissary, how will I find him? Tunbridge Monastery sent word that the King's men always pass a few nights in their hospitality. Begin there. I'll get the Elderman's name. You'll find Fulke. All in good time. Now. If we're done, I have business up the south coast. Falkenston has the best fish in Wessex. Then I will find you there, when the Elderman's name is mine. Cunibert is ambitious, but well-connected. We will not find Fulke without him. I suppose we'll see. What will you do? I'm not done playing with these Christians yet. I will see you at Falkenston. If Alfred's emissaries spend a few days here, someone may know where he went. Must be blocked from the other side. and lollygagging. I'm looking for someone. An emissary from Alfred. Have you seen such a man? Ooh, la -dee da Listen to you, all I and mighty. Get away with you, you valley lily. If you would rather feel the edge of my blade, it can be arranged. Yeah, that I respect. Forceful, to the point. As refreshing as a summer ale. You're a strange fish. Did you see the man or not? 
I did. He was getting pie-eyed with that barred Gowan and causing quite a ruckus. They left together. See? That wasn't hard, was it? Harder than it should have been. I mean you no harm. I'm looking for someone. Speak your piece. I have work to do. Seen anyone here on the King's Authority? I've been wondering that myself. Did someone bring news of the Elderman? Lord Landry would make a good one. Welcome! I'll see you later, friend. to catch flies or would you ask something of me i'm looking for a man he passed through here on the king's business no oh, bugger off here eh? or i'll call the guards i'm sick of people you need to heal your own ills how about you help me from the goodness of your heart and then i'll leave you alone a wise move mudwit it so happens i did see alfred's man he's long gone though Maybe Gowan the Bard knows where. Where will I find him? Well, he was pissed as a newt. Last I saw, he was passed out in trees between the arbor and bridge. Oh, now go find someone else to vex. There was a bard drinking with the emissary. I should find him, see if he knows anything. Have a look, Sunan. That eel swamped scob can't have gone far. Life. Patience is a tired horse. Plodity plod plod. Another tottering teeth sucker who can't hold his drink. Let's clear your head. Ow! Why do you smite me so? Oh, God's truce! Fire on you! Oh. What are you fed or wakes me? I'm the one you sing of, Bard. Stern of eye and scanned of mercy. Have you not seen the ravens feasting in my wake? Enough! Your word mangles are making my hair ache. You and Alfred's emissary were drinking in the tavern. Tell me where he went. Were we? I was so ale addled. Perhaps a small and silver thing upon my palm might help me recall? How about something long and sharp in your gut? All right, no need for that. You paint a vivid picture, Dane. He was headed to the white coast to the southeast, Dover Fortress. He said it is where they train those religious fanatics, zealots. They pray all night instead of sleeping. My thanks, and in return, wisdom. Too much beer piping will grow a fool in wit and words. My thanks, weaver of the obvious. Now leave me to my unholy punishment. The emissary made for Dover Fortress on the southeast coast. Damn 
I need your eyes, my friend. If I could steal the letter without killing the emissary, it would keep me out of trouble. Alfred's chosen elderman is a thing called Tetment. The abbot Kinnebert will want to know. I should meet Bassem and the abbot in Fulkenston. Ken's new elderman will be Thane Tedmund. Tedmund? Oh, the Lord is testing me. He is made mouse by you Danes. Barely leaves his fortress at Rusister. How might I gain his influence if he will not speak to me? Or to anyone? It is a puzzle. To inspire loyalty, Tedmund must owe you something. Such as his life. Go on. A fortress stormed, a man kidnapped. If you beat back his enemy, saved him from sure death, his gratitude would be... Swell. It would know no bounds. But that fortress will be harder to pry open than a nun's knees. Perhaps, perhaps not. Are you hiding something, Bassam? There is a lumber mill nearby, correct? Beamersfield. Alfred invests much in fortifying Wessex, and uses our forests to do so. The mill provides his wood. Tedmund is there. Impossible! How do you know? I heard rumors that Tedmund had been lured out of self-exile to manage work on the fortifications of Canterbury. Taking him from a lumberyard is less dangerous than assaulting a fortress. But your rescue attempt will not have the same flair. Is it worth it? It may still work. Yes. Yes. Bring him to the Megaliths. And Fulke? When I have Tedman's fealty, you shall have Fulke. Now go. I will rustle up a small rescue party. Trade at Reculver and Tunbridge. They pay well for my catch. The monks, those parchment skin Christians ever eat meat. Over here. I'm wary of this abbot, Bassam. He is self serving and evasive. Can he really deliver Fulke? The abbot is a friend of Fulke's. That is clear. So long as he doesn't suspect our motive, we may have a chance. Indeed. This brings to mind a story. Perhaps you've heard of it. The Scorpion and the Frog. A children's story? A cautionary tale. The Scorpion wants to cross the river, but he cannot swim. So he enlists the help of the Frog. The Frog agrees to carry him on his back, extracting a promise that the Scorpion will not sting him. Let me guess, the Scorpion Rene explaining his nature and both drown. The Scorpion crosses the river and stings an innocent man, killing him. So what does this tale tell us? That your stories are clouded and their meaning doubly so? It shows that every tale has a thousand possible outcomes, many of which are surprising. 
If the abbot does not deliver full kit, you will die at my hand. And we will continue our search. A sobering approach. Let's go hooded here. I hope this chair. prefer to work in the shadows. We were speaking, Eivor. I hope this chase will catch us a plump hen. Once the abbot has Tedman's gratitude, he will deliver Folke. It will cost us nothing more than this. If that leaden wit keeps his word. Go, Sunan. Show me what lies ahead. Stop caterwauling and you live. Live? Oh, saints protect me! Silence will save you, Tidman. Silence, not your saints. <laughs> Flee, my friend. We have the man we came for. Does this venture not set your blood ablaze? You don't prefer working in the shadows. And so we have. To steal a man, <sighs> take him with swiftness, and escape without anyone on our heels. We hide in plain sight. Such is our way. But only until the moment of success. The final strike. I prefer to act and speak plain. Kings and lords who do not are often misunderstood. Yet, as a leader yourself, you cannot deny that subtlety and intrigue are a cloak you must wear. How many of your clan know the true circumstances of Sigurd? Halt, Danes! In the name of Alfred, King of Wessex, I demand you release his royal subject <gasps> into my care. Come no closer, Christian, else your man dies by my blade. Please, I, I'm not the man you want. 
Keep your eye on this one. He'll be worth a hefty bounty. Any false moves and I will snip your heels. We have your man. Now let's finish this shadow play and be gone. Are you sure that's Tedmund? He's dressed as a lord, but that man is shorter and fatter than I recall. I'm not Tedmund. I, 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 I'm not. I, I swear upon the holy rood. I, I am not Thane Tedmund. What in heaven's name is happening here? Who are you? Speak quickly or I'll slit your throat and leave you for the crows. Shergar. I, I'm called Shergar. Lord Tedmund pays me a measly coin to serve as his double. Brother Shergar? You are far from Augustine's priory. Uh, I left the cloisters many moons ago, Your Holiness. The monastic life was not my calling. We can use you yet, Shagar. Summon Tedman to a meeting. Get him out in the open. Tedman has no care for me or what I have to say. My orders come by letter, never by mouth. I hardly know the man. You're of no use to us, then. Perhaps I should just kill you, here or now. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Let, let, let me think, let, let me think. Uh, Danes, T to storm the walls, you need Danes. Th there's a raiding camp west of here I was told to be wary of. I acting as Tedmund, I, I ordered a band of soldiers to capture them. If you hurry, you may be able to stop this. If another band of Danes wants to join our assault, we'll have the distraction we need to get inside Roosister. If the Saxons don't slaughter them first. I, I am still Tedmund, the men in the field. I could speak with their captain, send his men away. It's a fearless plan. The Nornia knit winding paths that cannot be unknotted. It seems Ruth's sister was always in our path. Abbot, stay alert. We will send word when we're ready to capture Tedmund. And this fool? He knows much of our plan. Do what you want with him. I won't risk our plan on the shambling of this fool. Come. Brother Shergar, and perhaps today would be the time to consider a vow of silence? An army of Danes are all we need to take the fortress. Let us hope. It is best to snare a wasp with honey. Have you ever considered more subtlety? I leave manipulation to you, Bassam. You appear to see it as an art. It is both art and science to bend a man to your will, and harder still to convince them that they are firmly in control. Shergar was quick to betray his lord. Do you not think he would sell us out as swiftly? Perhaps. Perhaps not. I do not presume to know a man's heart in so brief a meeting. His prattle was sad and ugly. We are too late. There is great horror here. Those who remain Oi, must be saved. Let us free, you festering canker on the south arts! <laughs> Our lives, friend. These Saxon whore sons would have killed us all. Yes, they would have. And now's your chance to hit back. March with us on Rochester and drain it of riches. I will gladly, friend. But we few will not break those iron thick walls. And we have no allies in Wessex. None who could be called upon to attack their countrymen. Mercia will heed the call. Giedrich will provide our Viking at Hort. We'll send a message to Oxenfordshire. The men of Mercia would gladly take a swipe at Wessex. What is your name, warrior? Runa Egelstotter. We need ships, Runa. We have a small fleet moored up river, but the naval chain blocks passage to Rue Sister's walls. I'll remove it, and your people will bring their ships. Now, gather these fallen weapons and armor. Giedrich and the men of Oxenfordshire will need them to hide their Mercian origins. My warriors were denied Valhalla today. I cannot bear the idea of gifting their weapons to more Saxons. Their sacrifice was great. Their gift 
will be all the greater. And they will know justice with our victory. It will calm their restless shades, I promise. Will your men bring the armor to the battle? And what is our plan? In the morning you will go to Buckingham, remind Giedrich of his promise. When you have his bond, meet me on the shore near Rusister with the ships. Ah, uh, but Cunibert must be warned in advance. He'll need time to muster his rescue party. Runa, that is your task. I'll tell you where to meet him before you leave. All seems in order. At first new light, I will leave. Good. That gives us time to drink. You travel so far to carry out your duty. Is this the life of a uh, hidden one? Always on the moon. Mine is not the usual path. The creed does travel. Our ideals are universal. We believe that. So there's nowhere you call home? No place I call home. No. Weird. <laughs> For me, home is family. But I have no family. No one? Not even Hytham? Parents, brothers, all dead. I lost my parents when I was nine winters along. Without Sigurd, I would have. I would have. There is always one unbreakable bond. Yes. Children. <laughs> they bewilder you. They can cause you so much worry. Fill you with joy. Even stop your heart. And if you're lucky, they replace you. I was not so lucky. I had a son. I miss him terribly, even now. I am sorry, Bessam. He was taken from me. By someone I trusted. A friend, a mentor. A man who I would trust with anything. with anything. Sister will not be an easy nut to crack. Time to prepare. I need to clear this fort and break this chain to get our ships safely off river. The mechanism should be inside.
I need to clear this fort and break this chain to get our ship safely upriver. The mechanism should be inside. With the chain down, Githrich and the ships can get through. your orders you brought your weapons and armor aye raven tamer good now we dig in and wait for our friends well met old friend when the chance arrived to lodge an axe in the sod of wessex you thought of me such an honor is everything else in place eivor are we ready to take russus then Rally our army. We will drag this mouse from his hole. Ugh! <laughs> 
Strong girl. Look higher up for a way in sight. If 
before I let you take this fortress. Kill me, and all of Wessex will rise against you. Dean, Alfred's army will smear your innards across the battlements. We're not here for stone and sand, Thane Tetment. I shit on you! You and your toy gods! I will not bow to you like some puppet's lord! I would rather die! How much will your king pay us to keep your sniveling head upon your neck? An army marches upon us from the south. A holy man from St. Hadrian's Priory, backed by a field. Ah, then, Abbot. Kinnebert? God be praised. If riches are all you care about, the Church has it in abundance. If the terms are fair, you'll have your freedom. A chest or two of silver for a shit-stained sewerette. Stay quiet, or I'll not be able to stop my friend from slitting your throat. Ah! Watch yourself, heathen. You handle me too roughly. You will die for the indignities you've showered upon me, Dane! I mean no offense, Thane. You're only a hefty ransom to me, nothing more. This is why you batter down my gates, kill me men, for a purse of grubby coin? You have no honor! Enough, or I'll return you to the Saxons with ten fewer for you. Oh. <clears throat> you there! Heathens! Let this good man go, or suffer an iron sickness. And what do you offer us in return? Your lives? We lost many good men storming this keep. It will not be in vain, Christ's slave. Twenty chests of silver. Give them all they ask, Kinnebert. A hefty sum that will leave God's coffers hollow. I cannot give it up without some assurance. Tedmund, you extort me in return for my life? You were swiftly met, Abbot. Not long after these... these scallious worms took my fort. On the Lord's bidding, Tedmund, at prayer, a terrible vision befell me. A host of heathens, your life in danger. A coincidence I find rather... <coughs> rather ominous, Abbot. Do you? <coughs> God help you, man. Are you well? Air. I need... I need air! He's dead. The work of poison, no doubt. No, 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 no! Rouse the man! He cannot be dead! He must not be dead! Poison? How does the man die of poison in our arms? Many great kings and paranoids have carried poison in times of war, as an alternative to capture and ransom. A catastrophe! Alfred will choose another and... By the saints! Alfred! How will I explain this to the king? We followed this road to its end, Cunibert. You may not like where it led, but you owe us our half of the bargain. You shall have your paladin. I need a day. Return to my abbey tomorrow, and you shall... Oh, dear, oh dear. These delays are grinding at my bones. We should abandon Kinnebert, find Fulke ourselves. Peace, Eivor. Speak with Giedrich and relieve him of his oath. I'll meet you at Kinnebert's abbey. You fought like beasts escaped from your hell today, Gidrich. 
Your oath to me is fulfilled. It was good to stand shoulder to shoulder with you against the pox dogs of Wessex. May our friendship endure. This tangled briar of Christians and lords means nothing to me. I'm here for Sigurd. I understand. When you find him again, come see me. We'll feast and sing, with mead and friendship to warm us. Agreed. I should not be seen on this. <laughs> I would say, well met, brother, but I cannot shake off the needle itch of dread. Is something wrong? I followed the abbot here, kept him in my sight. But the monks, his servants, I have seen nothing of them. Dead? I do not think so. But there is no good here in this grave hush. And where is the abbot now? In his quarters. Come, and be on your guard. Does this have the stench of betrayal to you, brother? Why would the godly shepherd ally with the heretic? Kinnebert is a man who craves power and position. With Tedman dead, he must find it somewhere else. There is truth in that. Keep your eyes and blade sharp. Kinnebert, your guests have arrived. Supper's ready. The dear abbot sent me a warm invitation, said my friends were eager to meet with me. It's early for supper, I know. But Kinnebert's L goes so well with roasted lamb and cinnamon blueberry peas. I couldn't resist. Where is my brother? Is he... is he not here? Mon Dieu. I never told him. Kill her. And we'll never find Sigurd. Sit, Ava. Eat. And let me tell you the tale of a man who talks with gods. You mock me. I have killed for much less. Of course you have. Isn't that the way of this ugly world? We call the sheep and thin the flock as we see fit, you and I. Most who walk the earth are little more than talking blood bladders. Wasted flesh. Not Sigurd. Sigurd is something else. Sigurd has been touched. He is deified. The gods, they speak through him. You lured him in with that lie. Your words are bile and blight. You should have listened, Avar. I tried to tell you. The gods are real and their power is within our grasp. <laughs> you will never find him. Not till I have had my fill. To old friends. This really is delicious, Kinnebert. Is it cloves I taste? Well, that concludes supper. Kill them, and bring their bodies to my sanctum in Canterbury. They will be upon us soon. Maybe there is another way out.
province. Okay, let's slip that her sanctum is at Canterbury. She did. And with no cause. I'd approach the place with caution. It may be a lie. It may be, but it's the only lead we have. I hope all this innocent sacrifice is worth the trouble. It's Sigurd, my brother. Of course it is. Then come. Let us dive into the Maw of Death. I was never keen on seeing my winter years. This will not be for nothing, Eivor. We will find Sigurd. It's not just him. I want Fulke to suffer. This land of summer, mists and forests, dreaming darkly. I see secrets, and I want to know England. All of it. And yet it rounds on us at every turn, snarling like a cornered dog. I begin to despair of ever settling here. Perhaps the stars write your path, and you will never have a home here. Do you miss the land of your birth? I have long been away. But it is fiercely beautiful beneath the vanity, arrogance, and pettiness of men. I should like to see it. You could if you wish. My father was an art, a builder of wonders. The great Moscow Samara, his master. the Caliphate gave better to the credit. He was exiled and died in poverty. Your faith sours. What of loyalty? Shared stories round the hearth. Warm nights, bodies, and the tender love of another. There are some who are worthy. A scant few that tower above the solid mass. Men and women of vision and valor. Sigurd is one such man. He is. Fulke isn't wrong on that score. I fear for him, Basim. I cannot rest until he's free. Nor will I, my friend. The practice of learning has waned considerably in England since the days of the Romans. What books they still have, they keep locked away in their churches, hidden from the eyes of common folk. Thralls and shells cannot read. What would be the point? They could learn. The church could teach them. So much of human history would be open to them. Aristotle, Pythagoras, Euclid, ancient knowledge lost to all but a few hard-headed men of the cloth. You have studied these works yourself. In my youth, I was consumed with a passion for understanding. I spent many hours a day in the House of Wisdom. I spent many hours a day in the House of Wisdom in Baghdad. A seminary. A great library, full of the greatest learning of mankind. For a boy seeking answers, it holds many riches. One day, I was sitting cross-legged, devouring a study by the great astronomer al Khwarizmi. With the swiftness belying his years, the papers were plucked from my grasp by the great man himself. 
His presence stole my voice. He was kind and open-hearted. He showed me such scientific wonders. And what did you learn there? Calendars and if calculations the facing the messy. sun, moon, and five planets. Equations that crackled and sparkled with divine intelligence. I asked the great man, is this what it is? This place swore to fool his people. Sigurd will be well guarded. Caution and subtlety should be our path. Ready. Follow me. Bates us, cocksure and arrogant, but she cannot see failure in her path. Her fearful wit would say otherwise. Hey, can't do this alone. If she's still here, we'll burn this Christ house to the ground. We honor for the glory of the ancients. Do not let these infidels find its secrets. Two arms, Massim. So well to put it in like an arm. <laughs> This must be the way to full case sanctum. Then let us go. What does it mean, these word tangles that speak of elves and demons? The plans to the great fortress in Wessex. Is there something here we can use to breach it? By Odin, this is a sick tapestry she wove. For every drop of his blood she spelled, I will take a meat horn more. Details on the Order of the Ancients. Fulke ranks high among them, but it's not their head.
we can use? I may have. A fortress in Sussex. The order trained soldiers there. We must be sure. Secret is running out of time. Anything else? Documents of interest to the Hidden Ones. Hytham will surely want to look. But for Sigurd, Porchester is our only lead. Hmm. If he is in Porchester Castle, we'll need a massive army to crack its walls. I have many friends in England now. If I call on them, they will come. They will. Bassem. She severed his arm clean off. Can a man survive such a loss? Physically, he can. Mentally, it's hard to say. So much stress can drive a man to despair. If you suggest he might take his own life as Tedman did, banish that idea. I must tell my people at the settlement that their Jarl remains a captive. They will not take it well. We will not fail again, Eivor. I'll scout ahead and send word to the settlement when I know more of Porchester. Be ready. Alcadesia will want this. Over. Get you to Valka.
boy. Where is he? Where is Sigurd? He... he's alive. But not with you. Where is he? Dag, not now. I need to speak with Ranvi. You never found him, did you? Tell us, Eivor! We deserve the truth! I need to speak with Ranvi. Step aside, now! You never found him, because you didn't look! <clears throat> I see you, Eivor! I know what you are. Eivor, you come alone. I fear what that means for Sigurd. I... I could not find him. That madwoman Folke, she... She slipped away, took him to Sussex. We need an army. Call on our alliances, remind them of their oath to me. We must act before... Before... Before what, Eivor? She tortured him, Ranvi. Did unspeakable things. Severed his arm and left it as a gift. I fear she means to kill him. Slowly. Gods. Wolf kissed. This ends now. Dag, turn around and walk away. Your habits are not my own, Eivor. I do not flee responsibility for the sake of my glory. I stand firm with my people. For many months, I have stood at your side, keeping faith in Sigurd's judgment. Because I believed in him and his vision. Do as Eivor commands, he told me. And I have. Against my better judgment, I did as you have asked me. And where has that left us? Without a Jarl? Without a purpose? Watching you chase glory around this land like a spooked hare! You could have come to me in confidence, Dag, but that offer is gone. I have no need of it. My mind is fixed. Hear me all! I challenge Eivor for the leadership of this clan until Sigurd is safe home. Walk away, Dag. No! We fight to the death! You spew nonsense, Dag. This is absurd. Enough! Let the circle be made! And make a goblet of your skull! Please! Please, both of you! Is that the best 
something you can do? You've gone soft! You walk a fool's path, Dag. This does not need to happen. A coward to the last. Have courage, Eivor. I will make it quick. I do not want to do this. Walk away. What's the matter, Eivor? Are you scared? Only for what I must do. I would grant you exile. Leave this place, but go with your life. Spare me your pity and fight! So be it. You leave me no choice. You could have waited. You could have come with me. You're a fool, Dag. You see where it's gotten you. Silence! He forced my hand. Yes, and the cost of disrespect is death. You said it yourself. All he demanded you gave him, that should be enough. I have no need for one so fragile in my hall of heroes. He fought for what he believed in. Does that not count for something? Does it? You killed him all the same. What is the true cost of disrespect? The choice. Lies with you. It should not have come to this old friend. Take this and fly to Odin's Hall. Whatever you sought in this life, may you find it in the next. Go to your homes. I will lay him to rest. Go to your homes! Dag accused me of betrayal. He accused me of breaking my oath. And this, this is the answer I gave him. Now you will hear the truth unvarnished. None, none more than me wishes for Sigurd's safe return. You know this. You know this. All of you! And I will burn the fields and dredge the rivers of Wessex to find him. That, that is my oath. That is my oath. will find Sigurd. You will not be without your Jarl. This I promise. Dag, you lived as you died, proud and defiant. I cannot begrudge you for that. I miss hearing you tell your stories, old friend, but I remember them well. <laughs> 